When streams are ripe and swelled with rain, may she will stay resting in my arms again. It's so cute. I went to the organic store today and I go like pretty much every week and the people there are so nice and just welcoming and kind and they have such a warm heart and since I came like at the end they were going to close and she gave me these Mexican tortillas for free because they were going to be out of date soon and yeah she just offered them to me because I was there last time and it was so nice. I love the little gestures like that. Part of knowing who you are is finding out who you exactly want to be. You can see it as a Pinterest mood board from 2010, only less shallow and cringy. Because when words fail to describe you, you need to pin images and ideas to feel immersed. Ask yourself, what do I want it to look like in five years? Which quality do I want people to remember me by? and make yourself able to reach that version of yourself as soon as the words have touched the page. Go on Pinterest, Instagram, and illustrate these objectives, making you truly able to project yourself beyond your imagination. I'll start. In five years, I want to be surrounded by people who are as sensitive about nature and being as I am. People with whom I feel comfortable, unpeeling the layers of my existence, and make me trust that home is another person. I don't want to waste my time socializing with people who take me for granted and care too little. I manifest creativity into my life and exploring all the artistic realms that are available to me. I want to take proper pottery classes and buy myself a watercolor kit. I want to explore Buddhism and Hinduism, dive into the practice of meditation, chanting, and movement medicine to instill calm into my journey. I want to build a community with whom to share and deepen these practices. I want to truly leave fast fashion behind me and only shop secondhand unless it's a timeless pair of Levi's jeans. I want to move into a city that pushes me and offers me immense scope for the imagination. Parks, museums, art galleries, all a girl can ask for to romanticize her life. I want to invite love in only when I am content with myself and have dealt with codependence. I want to find a partner who is beautiful on the inside and whose light only makes me shine brighter. I want us to explore the world together, becoming an us but still remembering my own worth, sharing memories, giggles and apartment bills. I want every year to be the best year of my life and every day to teach me something new. I want to be known for my photography and baking skills and my thirst for knowledge and human intimacy. I want my path to inspire others and hopefully aid them in some way. I want to learn plant medicine and be able to heal myself with a warm homemade tea and herbs from my garden. I want people to question if I'm a witch or maybe a forest fairy. I want to liberate my soul from societal norms and unapologetically be myself. And I know that I am not alone in that path. Okay guys, I might have done something a bit crazy. Basically, I kept getting this ad on my phone about a festival that was going on soon. And I clicked on it because I was like, why not? And I saw that there was my favorite artist playing, Dominique Fike. And like other artists that I really love, like Steve Lacey, um... A bunch of other people like there's Stormzy I don't listen to Stormzy but that's pretty cool and I myself have never been to a concert in my entire life and I want to do it this year like I want to be I want to do my first concert this year and so I looked at the festival info and I saw that it was gonna be between February and March 
and I thought that it was coming to Adelaide, which is where I am right now, but um, I don't think I want to be in Adelaide by then. I want to have moved on and been around Australia a bit more. So I saw, total coincidence, that the first date of the festival is on the 3rd of February, which is my birthday! And it's in Brisbane, which is the Gold Coast, you know, the coral reefs, the hot surfer boys. So now I was like, well, that's on my bucket list of places I want to go to in Australia. So I was like, that would be probably like the best birthday present I could give myself, you know? But I'm going to see like so many artists that I love at the same time on the same day. It's going to be overwhelming. But at the same time, it's a bit scary because I don't know anyone who's going. Um, I'll be going to be... Not alone. I think I'm, I'm want to like maybe try to find some people who are going and befriend them so that I'm not alone or befriend them over there. I've never been to festivals. I don't really know what to expect. I don't really know if it's safe or whatever. But I know that Australia is a safe country. Like the festival is going to end probably around midnight, one in the morning, not later than that. There's no camping on site or anything. But I just think it's like the best coincidence. I think it's destiny. I think I was meant to go there. So I was just like, fuck it. So I booked the tickets this morning and I'm so excited. And I need to go, I need to be calm in front of him and not go crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, instead of finding a job in Brisbane, I did the opposite. I followed an event and now I need to find accommodation, a job for the months where I guess I'm gonna be in Brisbane. It's totally unplanned but I'm going with the flow. This is the new and improved me. It's gonna be the best birthday. Basically today is International Au Pair Day, whoop, whoop. and so like the people who hired me, like the organization I work for, the company, I don't know what it is, whatever, um, they're organizing with like other au pair companies a like meetup of au pairs in Adelaide in the Botanical Gardens. It's kind of gloomy outside, but I decided to wear this cute top and my skirt and my shoes, my Adidas. You have to like bring something, um, but I did not have the time to bake. I mean, already going there for 11 is hard for me because I wanted to wake up late today. I had to wake up at 9.30. So early. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go buy like some gingerbread men or something at a local bakery and then I'll bring that. And I'm already late and I'm going to be late, but it's fine. I'm fashionably late. I'll be able to make a grand entrance. It's not that hot, but I want to look cute. I want to attract the people who have the same vibe as me. I want to, I don't chase, you know, I attract. I want to just invite in the good vibes and hopefully find some friends with similar style interests. All of that. So yeah, excited! Thank you. 
guys, this is so fucked up. So basically yesterday I got an email saying that there were changes to the like meetup that was supposed to happen today because the leader got sick. But it didn't say that it was canceled. Like the email said, hopefully we can still do it if you guys are up to it. Blah, blah. And so I showed up and it's like 20 minutes late and the meeting was like at the grand entrance and now I don't know where to go because they probably sat somewhere and I went all around like where the meeting spot is and they're not there so I don't know where they went or I don't even know if it's happening <laughs> because technically I mean the person didn't say that it was cancelled but it didn't say that it was for sure happening I don't know it was a very ambiguous email so I just emailed them like where are you guys but I think it's like someone who works for the opera company that's gonna answer and not someone who's here right now one who would know the answer I don't know what to do I got cookies, I can just eat my cookies on the bench alone but I want to meet them it's kind of annoying maybe it's karma for wanting to wake up late later than I should have woken up earlier should I like walk around like the entire botanical gardens looking for them the thing is I don't know what I'm looking for like not every group of girls is gonna be them you know and I'm scared to just go up to them and be like are you the old pair people? c'est la catastrophe walked around and I haven't seen any big group so yeah I sent emails and messages to the people who are gonna be there and nobody answered so I guess I'm going home I don't know it was a nice walk anyways but I just I don't understand what's going on probably just never actually happened and I just showed up and looked pathetic but at least at least I have the emails of the people who were invited so I'll just Email them, be like, do you want to hang out? <laughs> By email?